Okay, back again. Today I have a unboxing video for you guys. Um, now, before I tell you guys what it is, I just wanted to uh, announce that I am officially making the switch from PC to Mac. Now, some of you probably want to stab me for this, and I'm pro I can pretty much guess what the comments are going to be like. But... I've decided that I haven't, because since I haven't really been too impressed with Microsoft's products lately and Windows 10 spying on you and all that stuff, I've decided that I was going to go Mac and not go back, especially because in the future I plan to do more Let's Play videos. Hopefully I'll be out of school and we'll have more time. And uh, I figured that the Mac and Final Cut would be a better way to edit. So... Well, now that I've cleared the air, let me tell you what I've got here today for the unboxing video. We have a 2012, mid-2012 MacBook Pro refurbished. I bought this for $850 on the Apple Store website. It's a refurbished product, so it's a little... It's not as costly as a brand new one. And the reason I opted to go for a mid-2012 model was because... Um... The new MacBook Pros are non-upgradable. For instance, the RAM cannot be upgraded, and the SSD, the M.2 SSD, is a proprietary Apple SSD, which can only be upgraded with a proprietary, another proprietary Apple SSD. And I wanted to be able to upgrade this computer, which the reason I got it so cheap was because I purchased a base model. Um, and I'll tell you the specs in a minute. But, um, yeah, so I, I basically purchased this model just so I could do some upgrades, and you'll see that in this, later in this video. But I think I've bored you guys enough for uh, one video, so let's go ahead and dive into the box. And hit the server in the process. Alright, so, now unlike buying a new product at the Apple Store or online, when you buy from a refurbished, from when you buy a refurbished Apple product, you don't get the uh, the typical box that you get with a brand new Apple product, and I'll show you that in a second here. So there's the inside of the box. You can see. Set this down here. You can see. You get this uh, slightly different box. You get a uh, it looks it looks like a uh, brand new Apple product, but it's not. Um, although it, it does appear that Apple has changed their packaging for the refurbished products a bit, because the last time my father bought a refurbished product from Apple, it just came in a regular white box. So it looks like Apple has changed this. As you can see, at the front of the box says MacBook Pro. I'll bring it closer to the camera. It says, uh, down there it says Apple Certified Refurbished. On this side we have the Apple logo. On the back, nothing. The other Apple logo on the other side. And all the uh, information up top. Um, I don't think it says the specs here. No, it does not. So, But you can see, it looks like Apple definitely has taken a little more time, put a little more time and uh, design quality into their refurbished products. Let's go ahead and cut the box open here. Uh, make sure you got that in the camera. Okay. We'll go ahead and open the box here and see what you get inside. So the first thing we have on top here is the MacBook Pro itself. You just lift this little tab. And here it is. The beautiful June 2012 MacBook Pro sealed as if it were a new product and I don't see a scratch on this thing so this thing is like new. We're going to go ahead and set that to the side for a second here. We also get the um, power adapter here which is just a standard Apple power adapter. Um, now this piece here can actually be swapped out um, you don't actually have to use this. You can use additional adapters. So if you lose this, you could. It's a standard two-prong adapter. So if you lose this, you could use something like a PS3 power cable to provide power. Then we have the 
power brick here, the other end of the brick, which is, that's just the extension cable actually, because this part flips down here, and this is actually interchangeable with, um, so if you, if you go overseas, like sometimes I go to Israel, you can swap this out for the, power, the correct power adapter, and here we have our MagSafe 2.0 connector. And then we have our literature here. It says designed by Apple in California, like all Apple products say. Go ahead and open this up. And with the uh, MacBook, depending on the year, you'll get different documentation based on what year product you purchase. For instance, you get the little hello manual, which just is like a quick start guide. It tells you a little bit about the product. You get the MacBook Pro regulatory information, which we know everybody reads. You get your Apple stickers, as with all Apple products, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. So we'll go ahead and put all this back in the packaging here. Get the box out of the way so we can see the main attraction here. Alright, so I brought the camera a little closer so you guys can see this a little bit better. But here's the MacBook Pro itself. We'll go ahead and remove the uh, plastic protecting it here. And here it is in all of its glory. The shiny, refurbished MacBook Pro. So we'll set it down here and take a brief tour of it. On the front, you've got your lid latch here and your power indicator LED here. On the left side, we have our MagSafe 2.0 connector. Uh, I think this is this might be gigabit Ethernet, but I'll have to check that again. Firewire 800, a Thunderbolt port, two USB. I believe these are 2.0 because this is a 2012 model. Um, an SD card slot here, a headphone jack, battery meter here. On the back, nothing. On this side, on the other side, we have the optical drive and IR infrared sensor there. So if you have an Apple remote with the older MacBook Pros, you can use that. We'll go ahead and get an inside view here so you guys can see. And there it is in all of its glory. We've got this protect protector, screen protector here. And there is the MacBook Pro. Not a fingerprint or a scratch on this thing. We have our trackpad here. This is actually not the Force trackpad on the new MacBook Pros. Again, this is a 2012 model, so this is not a Force trackpad. And our traditional keyboard here, which I believe is backlit. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and power this thing on, and I'll show you what happens when you power up a refurbished product for the first time. Let's go ahead and fire it up here. You can see it boots up just like a normal Apple product. Now this machine, being from 2012, would have originally come with macOS 10.8 Mountain Lion. However, I believe this one has 10.11 El Capitan installed on it. So, def usually though, if you buy a refurbished Apple product, it would come with the original version of OS 10 that would have shipped with the product when it was new. So we'll let this boot up here, and um, I'll come back when we're at the welcome screen. Alright, so here we are at the first setup uh, prompt. We'll go ahead and use English for the main language here. Unfortunately, unlike older versions of OS X, you don't get the nice welcome movie ever since Lion came out. Now, one thing I have noticed already about this machine is how slow it is at loading certain prompts. As you can see, we got, we've gotten the spinning beach ball a couple times. So, but we have a fix for that, or at least I do. Alright, so we'll go ahead and select United States, US keyboard. Yeah, sure, let's go ahead and join it to a uh, wireless network here. I'll go ahead and cut this out, set this all up, and then come back when it's almost done, so. Commence fast forwarding. 
All right, so I've gone through, gone ahead and um, set up my account and whatnot. So while we're waiting for it to create the account and uh, finish up here, I'll go ahead and mention the specs, which I forgot to mention before. This has a dual core Intel Core i5 CPU. I forgot the clock speed. I'll have to look on the order form again, but. It's a, I believe, a Sandy Bridge, or an, either a Sandy Bridge or an Ivy Bridge, so pretty close to what I had before. Um, it has 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, which I'm going to be upgrading. It has a 500 gigabyte 5400 RPM HDD, uh, which, is de which is also going to be upgraded, and I'll be doing that in this video too. So we'll go ahead and accept the defaults here. And it has a Intel HD Graphics 4000, I believe. So we'll go ahead and let this finish up. Now, you can probably already tell why I'm going to be upgrading the 5400 RPM drive, because as you saw with the, the performance originally, um, was not exactly that great. As you can see, we have the spinning beach ball in. I just noticed you can see my reflection in the screen. But we're going to go ahead and, in a second here, uh, yeah, there's the desktop. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, upgrade the CPU, or uh, the H -di hard disk, H disk, hard disk and... Okay, so here's the upgrade process. What you'll need for the, open the MacBook is uh, just a regular small Phillips head screwdriver like this. And for the hard drive, a, I think it's a T8 Torx. So the first thing you're going to want to do for, uh, before you do any work on the MacBook is disconnect the battery because you do not want power going to the system while the battery is connected. So to disconnect the battery, there's this little tab, let me see if I can zoom in on it, right where the screen yeah. Right where the screwdriver is, there's that little connector there. That's the battery connector, right there. I know I probably didn't get it too well, but this is the battery connector. You want to go ahead and just disconnect that, because that's going to uh, remove uh, battery power from the motherboard. So now it's safe to work on. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and upgrade our RAM. Now to do that, the RAM is right here. You just push on both sides of the RAM modules to lift that and just lift them right out. They just lift, oop. this one's a little harder to get at because it's tucked away in there, but go ahead and... Okay, there we go. So you take your old RAM, like so, and you take your new RAM, you take your new RAM, line up the uh, pin, and then gently insert it into the MacBook Pro, one on top of the other. I know this video is probably going to be, my head's going to be in the way, but you just got to go ahead, just got to do this step by step here. Okay. Okay, so final verdict, or final result. One of two upgrades happened. The reason, the one upgrade that did not happen was the SSD. As you can see, zoom in a little bit, we now have successfully upgraded the RAM to 8 gigabytes. However, the SSD did not happen because this, S the internet lied and, uh, let me try that again. The internet lied and this SSD is, let me zoom out a little bit more so you can see, this SSD is only 16 gigabytes because I didn't read the frickin' label. Um, so yeah, I was too eager to install the SSD and didn't even realize that the SSD that I had was only 16 gigabytes and that's not nearly enough to restore the backup that I had. So for now, we just did the RAM upgrade, but we'll do an SSD upgrade video later. Anyways, see you guys then.